Hey folks, BQ here with the Impact Lounge. This is a spoiler what I'm going to talk about here. So if you're not the spoiler type, I'm not the spoiler type, but obviously sometimes you can't get around them. And especially for me as someone who covers Impact Wrestling, it's very difficult for me not to see a lot of them. So this is a spoiler. If you're not interested, hit pause, hit stop, exit out, whatever it is. So... The, the pictures that uh, went around, I actually saw a video. I, I was privileged enough. Uh, Miguel, shout out to you for um, DMing me a video. Austin Aries has returned to Impact Wrestling. And he has won the global championship off Eli Drake. Disappointing thing is that it's the same title. I was hoping with this set of tapings we were going to get a new belt. We do not have a new belt. Um, basically, the way the storyline went... Uh, and, and I don't know everything, you know, I, I saw clips, uh, that Austin came out, um, Eli Drake and Chris Adonis attacked him, jumped him, and, uh, Eli Drake wanted to make a example out of him, called a ref out there, and it ended up very badly for him, and they were wrestling in their civilian attire, and Austin Aries won the championship, so that match is gonna air on February 1st, um, I don't know, you know, going forward, I wouldn't be surprised if that match uh, vacates the title, <laughs> you know, for it not being like a, a, a official match or something like that. I could see something like that. The crazy thing is like they could, Ro and I were talking about this. They cannot help but put the title on someone who debuts, <laughs> you know, and you can't really say former WWE guy because Austin Aries is basically a TNA guy. But this is, you know, this is some really much needed star power for the main event picture. It just sucks that Eli, like, dropped the title already. Um, but I, I just have a feeling, without knowing any spoilers or knowing anything further, I have a feeling that's going to vacate the title, even though that will actually be really dumb because the title was just vacated. But that's just me kind of going out on a limb. Um, but we're going to see what happens. So Austin Aries is back. Uh, Brian Cage is at the set of tapings. Um, Kira Hogan did debut at this set of tapings and, uh, Hanaya the Huntress was there as well. I, I think we, I think she actually debuts, um, within the next couple weeks at those tapings in Canada. I think that's her debut, but I can confirm with you. Uh, and may, many of you already know about Brian Cage being there. Um, but I can confirm that Kira Hogan and, and Hanaya the Huntress, Huntress have debuted. And, uh, you know, I feel like maybe that's why they got rid of MJ. Because maybe it was uh, too much of one thing. I don't know. But these are really talented girls. Hanaya is badass. So, uh, good stuff. Let me know what you uh, think about Austin Aries in the comments, folks. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.